The new MacBook Pro M3 model for 2023 will be coming with a brand new design and also we have more details on the M3 chipset revealed in today's report. Let's go over the details about this and also cover the details about the specs for the new MacBook Pro including screen size, design and other details and of course give you the latest on the MacBook Pro M3 release date and price as well. But first let's jump in there with what the MacBook Pro is essentially being upgraded to. So for a long time, Apple have always provided the smaller, lower spec MacBook Pro and a higher spec MacBook Pro for the last 10 years or so. And when we had the sort of the Intel chipsets, we normally on the 13 inch MacBook Pros sort of either got basically a dual core, even a quad core in its later days on that MacBook Pro for the 13 inch model. Then after in the later years, we actually got the quad core. And then after that, we got to Apple Silicon and Apple decided to make the 13 inch MacBook Pro just have the standard M chipset inside it so we had the likes of the M1 and the M2 but then for the likes of the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pros the larger models they have that M1 Pro and M2 Pro and also that M2 Max as well and the M1 Max inside it so the 13 inch one has always been considered sort of a sort of a lower spec model inside it. As already mentioned, we have the M2 chipset already inside the MacBook Pro, but the actual design of the MacBook Pro hasn't changed a bit, probably in the last sort of about seven years now. Even when we had the Intel chipset inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro, we had the touch bar design, and this design has stayed the same. We've had refreshers, like I said, on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with brand new design, and even the MacBook Air in 2022, but nothing on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. However, this year it looks like that this could be changing. So for design and screen size of the new MacBook Pro M3. So we're hoping that this year for the first time we'll actually see a brand new design for the MacBook Pro with the M3 chipset inside it. It's most likely the new design would be thinner than say the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros but the other difference it would be is that there would be probably a few less additional ports than what we have on those two models. So for example we probably have more than we got on the 13 inch MacBook Air so we're probably expecting maybe a MagSafe capability and SD card slot and also a HDMI port too. But as this is the smaller MacBook Pro, we'll probably only get, say, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. But for the actual screen size as well, it will probably stay the same size as the current MacBook Air, what is a 13.6-inch display. It won't go up to a 14-inch or even beyond 14-inch because we have that already. And also, don't expect probably a ProMotion display inside it. We'll probably have the standard 60Hz display too. Battery life is also going to be probably very similar or maybe just slightly more mainly because we've got that next sort of generation of chipset inside it but still at the end of the day the larger sort of 16 inch macbook pro will have the better battery life out there for chipsets we're expecting an m3 normal to be put inside this macbook pro and it's very likely that we see a significant speed increase of say around about 70 percent over the original m1 apple silicon that came out in 2020 we're expecting more cores again and also a bigger factor as you can see here is that the new chipset will be made on a three nanometer die that will improve efficiencies in speed and battery life all around now having said all of this at this stage i will mention that all reports and leaks are not 100 percent proof they will come true for the new macbook pro however if you're still watching this video then you as curious i mean knowing what is said about the new macbook pro anyway so the next question is on release date so up to very recently the expected release date of a device with an m3 chipset is targeted towards the end of 2023 it is believed that apple would want to get the m2 variant chipsets out of the way before focusing on the m3 we still have that larger macbook air to come out and also the mac pro 2 that is likely to have the upcoming m2 ultra inside we've also been told that probably most likely the m3 journey is to start the end of this year say after when the iphone 15 has been released at the end of summer so over the last 10 years or so apple have more often than not done a mid-October to early November sort of Apple event showing new Macs and this year we're expecting the same four new MacBooks be released at this event and also possibly the new iMac M3 too but as we get closer to that date I would let you guys know the exact date when it's going to be coming available. 
So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods free as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video, or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. As I already said, guys, the giveaway is happening in June time. So if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or be told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, Example, and basically you need to pay for the shipping, please do report it here on YouTube. All you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest. Just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there. So to summarize again, all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes. And with that guys, it's back to the video. So then, let's go over the specs next of all for the brand new M3 Pro MacBook Pro. So first of all, we are probably going to be getting at last a new design for the MacBook Pro M3. And I would say the design is in its own way a bit similar to the current MacBook Pro that we have right now. What I mean by it's the 14 and 16 inch mixed with, say, the MacBook Air 13 inch that we have right now. So it's most likely we'll still be getting that exact same 13 point six LED rest of display that we have in the 13 inch MacBook Air and this will be a 60 hertz refresh rate screen it will not be a pro motion 120 hertz refresh rate the storage options will be a choice between 256 gigabytes of storage all the way going up to two terabytes if you want that we will have the M3 chipset inside it and that will be made of a brand new 10 core CPU and also a 12 core GPU option this time round and with that it will be made on that brand new three nanometer die that will give it even more efficiency and even more speed inside this MacBook Pro. We'll have the choice again between 8 to all the way up to 24 gigabytes of RAM if you want to do that. The body itself will be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here in the UK and then you'll also get the MagSafe port two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI, and an SD card slot 2, what is in addition to what you'd normally get on, say, the MacBook Airs, that HDMI and that SD card slot. You'll also be able to still get this in the space grey or the silver colours. The webcam will also finally be upgraded to a 1080p camera in the top notch up there, and battery life will probably be up to about 23 hours with all those efficiencies with the M3 chipset and also this modified new design. Prices with the standard base model, the 8 gigabytes of RAM, will start at 1299 US dollars. But if you went up in storage but kept the same RAM, 512, 1499, and then 1 terabyte, 1699, and then 2 terabytes, 2099 US dollars. And on that note, guys, it's also time to wrap up this video. What do you think of the brand new MacBook Pro M3? Is it shaping up to be a great new MacBook? I would love to know your thoughts, so please do put them down in the comments below. And also, guys, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, like I said already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.